before my day starts, I like to go into meditation and yoga. I always light incense to set the mood and to clear out my energy. These are the Palo Santo incense from the company Lots of Zen. I want to say a special thank you to Lots of Zen for sponsoring today's video. They sustainably source Palo Santo sticks from South America. Palo Santo is known to clear out energy, bringing in the good, keeping the good, while releasing all negative energy. Before I go into meditation and yoga, I always try to uplift my energy and uplift my spirit with the use of Palo Santo, just to ground me back into my heart space, into my body. Be sure to use the code in the comments as well as in the description box to get your discount off of the Lots of Zen Palo Santo sticks. Palo Santos are a really great um, addition to your self-care, self-love routine, to your spiritual routine. Be sure to use the code in my description box as well as the comments. Now let's get into today's video. So first things first, I'd like to make celery juice. I don't have a juicer, so I just use my Nutribullet. First, I make sure to wash my um, celery very well using an organic vegetable wash and using completely filtered water with my zero water filter. This is better than Brita. If you know, then you know. Um, it's really, really important to make sure that you're using completely filtered water with celery juice and any juice and any smoothie because you're digesting it and what you digest matters. So I go ahead and I take the celery and I put it into the Nutribullet. Again, I don't have a juicer. So this is about, I think, one and a half stalks of celery. I go ahead and use my milk bag, my nut bag, and that is how I juice my celery juice. Um, you don't need a fancy juicer. You don't need an expensive juicer. You can simply just use a Nutribullet or a blender and a nut bag and make celery juice. I highly recommend following Medical Medium on Instagram to learn more about the benefits of drinking celery juice. Always making sure to drink celery juice on an empty stomach. It is so helpful for your digestive system and your immune system. I upcycled this glass container and that's what I pour my celery juice into and I just keep it in the fridge. It lasts a few days. Let me know in the comments below if you guys drink celery juice and if you haven't, why not? So whenever I'm making vegan meats, I need to add my black pepper, I need to add my white pepper, I need to add my black garlic from Trader Joe's. If you don't know about this, get it into your pantry. It is amazing. So I had some fresh green onions. I went ahead and I chopped them to add them to this Asian styled um, crispy chicken. I'm making a just a really quick like chicken and rice. Dish, so I go ahead and pop that into the the pan and just let it sizzle and let it pop. I had some rice that I made a few days ago, took it out of the fridge. I've been learning how to make rice in the oven, which I actually prefer. I don't have a rice cooker, so making rice in the oven actually makes your rice really evenly cooked and fluffy, which I'm really happy about that. So I just take a few scoops of rice while the chicken is cooking. And I believe this was brown rice and I pop it in the microwave, sprinkle a little bit of water on it just to bring it back to a nice soft texture. So now the chicken is browning and it's getting nice. We go ahead and we add those beautiful green onions. Um, I, I just always season my food so I didn't show you guys but I obviously I added salt. Um, sometimes I'll add some adobo depending on how I want the flavors to be but I just always season my vegan food just because I just need it to be seasoned. You know, I'm West African, so seasoning is very, very important. So you see, again, this is the oven baked rice, um, reheated. Now look at how pretty my lunch is. Now look at how cute my lunch is with my bamboo bowl, okay? My bamboo bowl from TJ Maxx. But this came out really, really good. Just a quick lunch. So, because sometimes you just gotta be quick with it. Sometimes you just can't be slaving over a stove, okay? So, I first had these vegan drumsticks when I was in Miami last year, and I was like, wow. 
So this company has been making vegan drumsticks since 2006. The drumstick part is made from sugarcane and the um, quote unquote chicken part is made from soy. Look at how kind of realistic that looks. It looks pretty realistic and these taste delicious. So you can get these on, um, I'm going to leave the link for the website in the comments. I think it's Shop Veggie, Shop Veggie, I guess it's Shop Veggie. But that's where you can get your plant-based shrimp, your plant-based chicken, really taking your vegan lifestyle to the next level. But look at how meaty this chicken looks. And that's the sugarcane drumstick. My mouth is watering as I'm re-watching this. So I go ahead and put these in the frying pan. Of course, salt, pepper, white, uh, white pepper. Um, I think that was it. I wanted to keep it simple because I'm just making a just a classic um, Caesar salad. I had some romaine lettuce, Annie's goddess dressing. If you know, you know, baby. I went ahead and massaged the lettuce and I'm adding capers. I love these capers from Trader Joe's. They add this delicious saltiness to everything and woo, again, they're from Trader Joe's. They are so good. So I like to add them to my salads. Go ahead and put the chicken on top and there you have a simple uh, vegan grilled chicken salad. So in the middle of the week, I was like, I want potatoes <laughs> and Brussels sprouts. So I went ahead and made a medley of these super delicious random potatoes from Kroger's and Brussels sprouts. And again, you guys already know, salt, pepper, white pepper, um, and a little bit of adobo, put it in the oven and it was chef's kiss. So I use uh, just egg, vegan eggs, when I feel like having vegan eggs with some pico de gallo, some avocado and Ezekiel bread. This is my go-to when I'm feeling like having like a hearty breakfast. I usually don't have breakfast. I usually just drink smoothies, but this was amazing. Next, we also have vegan shrimp. Pardon me for shooting this on my phone, but this is vegan shrimp, again, from shopveggie.com, the same company that makes those drumsticks. So I went ahead and pop, pop, pop them. <laughs> pop them in the frying pan. Um, I made some adobo-inspired pinto beans which were delicious with some plantains. I overbaked them so they actually weren't that good, but I wanted to go for like a more um, Latino dinner this evening. So the beans I, I were made with nutritional yeast, of course, onions, water, onion salt from Trader Joe's. If you don't have that in your pantry, baby girl, what are you doing? Um, some thyme and just letting it slow cook, letting the um, vegan shrimp, which tastes like shrimp and it has that sea flavor the ocean flavor and these are actually made from cassava okay so these are not soy these are cassava so a little bit of a healthier option if you want to go um for the vegan meats but they have the same kind of like snap like shrimp i was pleasantly surprised y'all so i ate this with the rice the plantains the beans i just seasoned this with a little bit of salt you don't have to season these a lot because they're already so just naturally flavorful they taste like <laughs> real shrimp so they're just naturally flavorful and i really don't drink a lot but you know i had to get the moscato boo i had to do it for the next morning i made some cashew cheese which is a really simple recipe if you want me to share how i make my cashew cheese let me know in the comments below but i was just making avocado toast at home you will never catch me buying avocado toast out in public so I use my Ezekiel bread with some of the cashew cheese, uh, avocado, and tomato. Sprinkled a little bit of olive oil on it and a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. But cashew cheese, this was my first time making it. Staple. Kitchen staple. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment, subscribe, and let's chat in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see another video like this. I love you so much. Peace.